So we're going to try again to have a backup. Good morning, 3 a.m. Good morning, obeisances, Maharaj. 3 a.m. it is, right on the dot. We are so happy to have you, Maharaj. So very special. But I think it's 11 p.m. with Leela Moikro. Yes, it That's is. A bigger austerity in my calculation. That is a bigger austerity. Chintamani David Asi back with her truck, reunited with her mobile home, Jesse, on the highway with the Californian sky. Hare Krishna, I'm in London with a London sky, a typical London sky, which I don't need to describe. But it looks very green coming to England, which is good. A healthy sign. Yes, dear devotees, so we're coming together and as devotees do, it takes a few minutes to come, no problem. Sevarupa did he also 3 a.m., no, 4 a.m. with Sevarupa. 4, yeah. And Udara and Prabhu, 5 a.m. But he can't hear, I think, yet. Yes, welcome Odara and Prabhu, welcome Lynn, welcome to each of you. And let us begin as devotees come together with some mini bandana. And today we can say the bandana, the uh, pranam prayers for Srila Gurudev and for Srila Guru Maharaj. Because we can, why not? And so it's not that every time, well on Zoom we don't want to spend a long time on bandana, as it were. That's why we do a mini Vandana, but in the temple, then we try to uh, do the full program or the full Vandana as much as possible. So let us begin. So we can today do start with Oma Gyan. Oma Gyan Timarandasya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshur Anmilitam Jena Tasmai Shri Gurave Namaha. Guru Bhavista Sukurakam, Guru Ganai Rashisha Sambushitam, Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipunam, Sri Rupa Pantanugam, Govinda Bidha Mujvalam Varatanam, Bhaktyan Vitam Sundaram, Vande Vishva Gurum Chadipya, Bhagavat Prem no hi Bija Pradam, Devam Divyatanam Sachandavadanam Balaka Chalanchitam Sanjananda Param Sadekavaranam Vairagya Vidyam Budhim Sri Siddhantanidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Vande Tang Shubhadam Madakesharanam Yashishvaram Sridharam Sri Siddhanta Saraswati Vidito Gauriya Gurvan Vaye Bhato Bhanuriva Prabhata Gagane Yogora Sankirtanai Mayavada Timingi Loda Ragatan Udritya Jivaniman Krishna Premu Sadabdi Gahan Asukam Parat Prabhum Pang Bhaje Hare Krishna Bancha Kaupa Tarubhyascha Kripa Sindhubhya Evacha Hatitanam Pavanebhyo Vaishnavebhyo Namo Namaha Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Name Gora Tije Namaha Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Sri Advaita Garadhara Sri Vas Adi Sri Gora Bhakta Vrinda Hare Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. And we can also chant Srila Prabhupada's Pranam Mantra, the Pranam Mantra for Srila Prabhupada. Those who know can chant. If you have the new songbook, we've given the link before. Um, the new songbook is on page 345, means the latest songbook is on page 345. Nama Om Vishnu Paraya Krishna Prashtaya Bhutale 
Swami Sri Bhaktiviranta Prabhupadaya Te Namaha. Guru Vagyam Shirasi Dritva Shakti Vesha Swarupine Hare Krishna Ti Mantrena Paschatya Prachya Tarine Vishvacharya Pravadhyaya Divya Karunya Murtaye Sri Bhagavata Madhurya Gita Jnana Pradayane Gora Sri Rupa Siddhanta Sarasati Nishevine Radha Krishna Paramboja Ringaya Gurave Namaha. It's composed by Srila Gurudev. I offer my humble obeisances unto his divine grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, who is Krishna's beloved associate and who came down to this plane from Goloka. Taking the order of his guru on his head, he is the Shaktivesh avatar the empowered avatar of Nityananda Prabhu personified. He distributed the Hare Krishna mantra all over the Eastern and Western world, delivering and uplifting all fallen souls. He is the best of millions of Jagat Gurus because he is the personification of divine mercy. He has distributed the sweet, sorry, he has distributed the sweet nectar of Srimad Bhagavatam and the transcendental knowledge of Bhagavad Gita all over the world. He is constantly engaged in exclusive devotional service to Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Sarasati Thakur, Srila Rupa Goswami, and Sri Gauranga Mahaprabhu. I offer my humble obeisances unto Srila Prabhupada who is like a bumblebee, always tasting the nectar of the lotus feet of Sri Sri Radha and Govinda. Hare Krishna. And yesterday, we were watching with the devotees. Sometimes we see some things alone, but we were watching with the devotees. Srila Prabhupada in 1970, arriving at the Los Angeles temple. And we watched this by the grace of Seva Rupa Devirasi, who sent the link. And uh, it's 1970 is when he was going there. And before the deities that are present now, uh, is it Rukmini, Dwarkadish, perhaps? which are the deities now in Los Angeles, but there was Baladev, Subhadra, and Jagannath, the Jagannath Ali of Subhadra, there on the altar. But it was very sweet to see Srila Prabhupada, of course, every aspect, the kind of drinking each aspect of watching Srila Prabhupada and coming and the devotees' response and so many devotees chanting and dancing. 1970. Just four years after things started, five years after he went to America, but four years after things got started with one, two, three, four devotees. And as so many were there chanting and dancing and being happy. And Srila Prabhupada was handing out prasadam from a plate, means some dry prasad, and especially to the children. And we we're looking at this and seeing kids and we're thinking, oh, this one must be six years old. This one's maybe four years old. This one's maybe three years old. Some quite young children were there. But every one of those children now must be in their 50s. And some of them, like this, those who do mathematics, those who are seven years old, they'll be 60 years old now. You know, so the young children that Srila Prabhupada was distributing prasadam to, then the, they, they're all grown up and they've had their, you know, the major part of their lives by now. And we're just thinking, where are all these devotees now? Where are, where is everyone now? And some must be around, you know, known, and everyone must have Srila Prabhupada in their heart. But it was very touching movie to see. Not movie, it was, I think, six minutes, something like that. Hare Krishna. And 
we could put the the link maybe save a so you can put the link in the chat box because we like everyone we like everyone to have good things especially good people and i believe you're good people we like to do good things for good people and we like to make or think we can give an opportunity for bad people to become good people hare krishna or as our Dear friend, devotee, said, oh, oh well, there we are. <laughs> That's my alarm clock set for, set for Italy time. Mm hmm okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, which is an hour later. So now, you know, I would normally be getting it at this time. Hare Krishna. So, as one of our good friend devotees said, we should try to do good things. Yeah, but he didn't say for good people. But he said, oh, shh, 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 shh. Wait, one moment. And I have to do a little bit of mathematics here to turn off the alarm. Okay, successful mathematics. It's off. <laughs> if you want to wake up in the morning, have one of these smart alarms on your phone which you have to do some complicated mathematics to wake it up okay semi-complicated not too complicated okay he said try to do good things for others and don't get caught so it's not that we're trying to do good things for others and then put up a big banner with our name on it yes i'll i'll donate to your temple if you put a plaque with my name on it Know, this kind of thing where we want recognition for what has been done. All right, so in the chat box, I believe, oh, well, there's something different. In the chat box will come, I think, if you can find it, Seva Rupa, otherwise I must have it in your in internet. Oh, Seva Rupa's put the Pranam Mantra for Srila Prabhupada. Oh, okay, good. There's Srila Prabhupada's Pranam Mantra. And Dan the K sending her flowers and offerings and pranams. Jain. All right, so welcome to those who joined us after we sort of welcome those who joined us so <laughs> that means to jivana didi to philip philip hare krishna to rupa nuga prabhu ganga lila devi dasi dana k we mentioned just now and lynn we did mention also so welcome to you here and those on facebook with us of course my obeisances Oh, Jago Mahini Didi. I don't have my Facebook on, unfortunately. I have one connection at the moment because I, I am in London, the West London Temple. Also, Michael Madhava Thompson. And Maharaj, last uh, Sunday on your, your Monday Spiritual Sangha, you were in London. The theme was uh, Bhakti Sadhana Anatta Nivriti has begun. And at the end, at the very last minute, actually after a few minutes after the, the time was up, uh, there was a question, a little bit unrelated, but it was sent by Narottam Nitaidas. He has not joined yet. So just to let you know that I have a, a question lined up if he shows up. Okay, that well, is, um, it's very good. I mean, it can be recorded and he can watch the recording. Yes, but let him let him turn up if he turns up, it's very good. Mm -hmm. Hare Krishna. So we are together here, and I do believe we were going to ask Chintamani. Didn't we have a question for Chintamani? Oh, it was about Japan, I think, and she did turn. She was able to tell us at the end. Oh, I know. We were hoping to have a bit more of a touch of Mayapur. That was our last part as well. Um, yes, but that is Sundari, yes. Radha Sundar is not with us also just yet. So no, not yet. We'll have a touch of Mayapur and Navadip in remembrance. 
And we could also have remembrance of Maya Poranavadi by chanting Srimach Chaitanya Saraswata Matavara Udgita Kirti Jai Shri. But we'll, we've been chanting many verses this morning, some verses. So let us open the, the microphones. I don't know. You can open the microphones, but open, make the open question for you all. Any question from you all or topic or something you'd like to share from any of you who are here with us. This is your chance, big chance. That if they are shy, we can appoint. Yes, but first was giving a few seconds for meditation. And I was. Well, I always have a question. Oh, is someone coming in? I always no, have a question. I was starting just to be me when there was silence. So better you be you. <laughs> you be you when there's silence. When there's silence. Yeah, Donovan Maharaj, thank you, Pranishri Didi, for hosting this every quite a week. Um, my question is regarding. Um, well, actually, first, the one success story. Oh, did I lose my internet connection? I hope not. We're going on. Oh, we're going on. It's a little choppy, but we're going on. Yes. Please carry on. Okay. I'll, is it okay now with my camera off? Yes. Please carry on. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Um, we had our first public um, Harinam, I say we, meaning I organized and invited people, and like more than 10 people showed up to chant um, at the Rose Garden, Barber, where I, like all the tourists go and sit on the grass. And um, I felt really good to like keep the momentum going from this wonderful um, experience I had doing preaching or helping Shaka Didi's preaching in Japan. Um, so I was trying to organize a weekly um, kirtan in my local community, to, a local Haryam, just Oh dear. It's because she's driving. Yes. She will reconnect, yeah. Yeah. She's driving faster than the internet can keep up with her. Yes, see. And one thing I noticed about America, if you drive at the speed limit, you're the slowest vehicle on the road. It's just accepted you drive faster. Yes, but you get very, very good fines as well. Such as the world. <laughs> Oh, she can hear us. It's so true. I drive under the speed limit. Oh, okay, yes. But where are you? You disappeared from our screen. I'm surprised you can hear us. Anyhow, we heard that she's doing some weekly uh, Sankirtan program. We'll get a bit more information perhaps presently. And Priyanana Devadasi, welcome. We see you arrived just now. Hare Krishna. Hi so Krishna, can you hear me now? Uh, yes, yes, but if you're maybe better to pull over somewhere and then give oh, a yeah. chat. Oh yeah, that's why. That's why I uh, my internet went off because I parked to, before I unmuted. Um, oh, I am parked. Okay. okay. Um, but yeah, what I was asking um, was I was facing some resistance um, of like my wanting to commit to something even though I know I have the capacity because um, I was really surprised. I'm like, wow, all these people came and like to a, like a Harinam, this is great. But I was just, I don't know how to face my own resistance. So like, I think I have some fear around being like stepping into like leadership because I don't feel myself as qualified. Like I, I consider myself really like fallen and I'd, I'd better I support other sadhus or maybe go somewhere else to like another ashram or something. But I, I keep not doing that. Like I keep, vortexing in my own like isolation and doing what I'm already doing, making money how I do and just sneaking out of my life to go support Vishakadidi. So 
I just wanted to know if you if you have any reflections on this. I just wanted to hear your um, you you've been doing bhakti yoga a lot longer than me, so just wanted to put that forward. So Chintamani did it. I didn't quite catch what it is that you're arranging each week. Was it Harinam in the park? Was that right? Yeah, uh, basically a Harinam in the park or a home program, depending on um, the, you know, the Sangha's capacity. If nobody can host something at their home, then we just do it in the park. Okay. And the park is a good place in the sense that people see you and that you can walk in the park to Harinam and uh, chanting Hare Krishna in the park and you can also be seated in, in a public place and have a little book display, something, something there which uh, can be attractive and the chanting is the, the main part which probably people are going to benefit from and then it's an introduction for people to come and with a friendly face as you have that kind of nature, you can draw people to come chat sit down you look inquisitive would you like to hear about a perfect world that everyone's searching for anyhow in the two aspects of one those who are already devotees all always need fuel and the fuel is hari nam sankirtan the fuel is hari kata and the, those who are not devotees need medicine and the medicine is Hari Nam and Hari Kata. So if we, can, if we can be a little public, it is good, but also with the devotees in their houses, etc. With the windows open so others can hear, that is also very good. But yes, please do, and a little commitment when we always have a program, here we are on Back to Back to Basics and you know, we could just say, oh, if you want to have a gathering, we'll come together, just let us know. And then, you know, we can have random gatherings, but when we have a bit of a commitment and people know there's a program at a certain time, a certain place, maybe a digital place, but then it's also some kind of a commitment. And so, not bad. And when you live in a temple, Mongolati is a commitment, dear devotees, and so is the evening arti. And just yesterday, Krishna Kanta Devi Rasi was, was reminding about how in Navadip we had a gui guidelines or rules, I think it even said rules of the mat. Sorry to use the word rules, but meant to be ragamag, right? It's all spontaneous. But it, but it was to express Gurudev's wish and directly Gurudev's wish that everyone will attend morning and evening arti and that is a commitment and if you just you know, leave it so oh, you could, whenever you like you attend arti then you just get a very random arrangement and it should be whenever you like is morning and evening arti but in the beginning we need to be a little committed and you will be happy to do these programs and who you meet will be happy and you do not know we do not know the result of uh, doing programs people become devotees maybe of our mission but they come devotees we are actually good preachers for other people's missions because we repeatedly come across people and hear something oh yes you know i came to christian country through you oh really how he came to one of our lectures and ended up as one of the good devotees also in ISKCON. We're happy. We're not. We're happy. They become a devotee, find their niche, and carry on chanting Hare Krishna. So yes, but once a week to commit, Chintamani, you have the capacity for more than once a week. Hare Krishna. And you see, there's a result of associating with devotees, seeing the devotees' enthusiasm, then we also want to do something and not just to wait for someone else to come through. And don't forget, we were, we were on the streets like very soon after being a devotee and the principal 
the, the main part of being on the streets was to distribute the words at that time of Srila Prabhupada. But we can distribute flyers, we can make small things which are uh, about the, the words or the words of Guru Maharaj and Gurudev and Srila Prabhupada. We need to share good things with good people and share good things with people who are presently bad, but everyone is good underneath. But it means people who have kind of some wrong mentality, but to try, try to do something good for them. And we know that devotees who are devotees come from all sorts of backgrounds, not all from the saintly background. Hare Krishna, but saints inside, waiting to come out. Jeevana Devirasi, please share a few words with us. So we're going to come now to the saintly section. <laughs> oh, sorry, Chintam, oh. that doesn't mean you're not saintly. <laughs> no, that, that was so inspiring. That is so beautiful to hear, Chintamani, my goodness. That is terrific. That somebody can do that is so great. I um hmm. Well, things I've been reading about are a little bit different topics. And, uh, it's okay. We can change topic too. That okay, is if, just um, change channels and then come back to that channel. That was a really wonderful um, breath of fresh air from Chintamani. I love that. Um, well, I just was reading. I've been reading this. Um, it's an article that was in the publication that the UK, that David Sheesh put out. And it was an article from Srila, Srila Sridhar Maharaj. It's quite long, it's six pages, but I just thought I'd just pick a piece of it. And uh, it's called, My Best Prospect is With Him. And it's about fault finding Satan and the miracle of self-examination. And Srila uh, Sridharma is always very um, direct and he just goes into things in a very, um, no bar, you know, just very direct. Like, like uh, Gurudev, you know, Gurudev, Guru Maharaj and Prabhupada, just, they never wanted us to be deceived or have misconceptions. So they always spoke very plainly and straightforward way. So uh, this article is again in that line. It's just, I'll read what it starts off with and then maybe I might skip to one other piece. Mm -hmm. So he starts off with, um, so this is again from Srila Guru Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Rakak, Shudra Dev Goswami Maharaj. And he starts off by saying that ill-fated are those who are very eager to find fault in others and do not have any time to find fault in themselves. Also, the other side of your necessity is not to find defects, but find attributes in others. Why do you allow yourself to engage in the position of finding fault? There is ample place to find goodness in the devotees. Why are you not engaging yourself in that association? <clears throat> Why the tendency to find fault in others? May there be a more faulty person than yourself. Why do you engage yourself only to see the lower rather than fix yourself to the higher? Upon doing so, you will find that the devotees are of higher quality than yourself. Why not attend that section? Why, unfortunately, do you go to the lower section with your attention to find fault? On one side, there are beautiful flowers. On the other side is rubbish. Why do you inspect the rubbish instead of all the beautiful flowers? So that's sort of like the start of this article, which is, like I said, six pages. And uh, <clears throat> Guru Maharaj goes into great depth and quotes many uh, verses to help us in this line. And uh, it's just so important for us because in the Maharaj, you'll remember how Guru Dave would say that there have been many great missions in the world. There was Alexander the Great, and he quoted a few other great dynasties and missions, but they couldn't make it because nobody had the humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others. So eventually they kind of collapsed and fell apart. So Guru Dev always trying to help us understand how it is that we can go on happily and stay together happily and how to 
view our life and how we're living our life. So then this one, I'm just going to skip a little bit. Uh, in this way, I am to try and understand that I am responsible for being there, meaning wherever we find ourselves. First, there must be the diagnosis, then the treatment and nursing. Nursing and treatment is good, but it must follow the diagnosis. The diagnosis is I am the culprit and the medicines must be applied accordingly. A thorough cure and not a patch job is what will be advantageous. Then the thorough wholesale treatment is like this. This is like one of Guru Maharaj's favorite quotes. We used to hear it so much and we still do. Tatenu kampam su samikshamano bunja evat makritam vipakam vridvag vapubir virahan namaste javete yomukti pade sadayabak. That's from the 10th canto of Srimad Bhagavatam. This is the magical cure for fault finding. Srimad Bhagavatam recommends the system of a magical cure. This is the diagnosis proper. Preaching must be on the basis of this truth, otherwise all is haphazard. The Srimad Bhagavatam's preaching is like this, deep penetration to the root core of the disease. Do the Vedas advocate a dreamless sleep induced by renunciation? That is not the conclusion accepted by the Srimad Bhagavatam. The Srimad Bhagavatam has accepted the wholesome organic life. It is unavoidable that we have to live with some particular paraphernalia. Complete retirement, entering into samadhi or dreamless sleep is also not the conclusion of life. That is a temporary arrangement, but permanent adjustment must be for him. Everything is for him. I am for him and not for myself. He is also holy, so accommodating and so good. I am for him, capital H, and that is my best prospect. So just, there's quite a bit here. So. Um, I believe I have, I believe David she sent me the entire uh, um, manuscript that came that where this came from. The, what was that name of that um, Gardy? What was the name of his Count, counterpoint? Uh, counterpoint. There was another that, one too. That was his magazine, no? Oh, counterpoint. Okay. <clears throat> this then he oh, produced uh -huh. the go. Then he produced the Gaudiya Darshan magazine. The color. Uh -huh. The color yes. one. I believe that's what this is from. And what was the title of the article? The title of this article is My Best Prospect is with Him. Jain. I'll be seeing him in the flesh, as it were, today. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah, he did. He sent that to me not so long ago. He'll probably remember. All right. So. Just, just sharing that these are things like that I, I like to always, I always feel like I can never hear enough of these things. Exactly. And also you made a point, which I don't think as far as I recall is printed anywhere, but that point about Alexander the Great and many great rulers who had dynasties or as it were, but I don't think it's printed anywhere, but you happily remind us how Guru is saying. But why were they not successful to maintain? Because they lacked humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others. That's an interesting point. Yeah. You know, you can, if we were just to be asked to write down you know, in the lesson in the class or something, here's a question, why couldn't such and such maintain his dynasty? We'd have all sorts of analysis, why his troops did this, that, or the other. But and Guru is giving the, the answer because he couldn't follow that humility, tolerance, and giving honor to others. And there are actually many treasures which are not in the books, we, as we know. But they are, but many of them are in the recordings, by the way. Things do come up. And the recordings are for good for us in Kali Yuga because they do remind us of things which, oh, yes. Like you're reminding us just now. Yes, oh, yes. And that's also just by itself quite revolutionary. But we have yeah. to have faith. You know, we can say that to those who have faith in Guru Rev, those who have faith in Guru Maharaj. But otherwise, sometimes we are we are careful because we don't like it. We don't like an analytical or something 
re response. It's not the Gurudev, I mean, from the public, when there's like somebody present who's kind of hasn't, doesn't have faith in our masters, then they're thinking, oh, what our masters say is just something. Anybody could say, yes, oh, but my opinion is this. No, but, you know, how it is in the, in the chatting circle of the world. But here we have the opportunity to be with faithful souls. And when we hear this from Gurudev, it's just so refreshing and sweet. When we hear lots of things from Gurudev, from Guru Maharaj, from Srila Prabhupada, it's so refreshing and sweet because we accept it. Mm. Even the creation of the universe, it's amazing. It's so <laughs> clean and sweet coming from Srila Prabhupada, coming from Guru Maharaj in the subjective evolution and other places. It's just so clean and this is how it all happens. Isn't Krishna who's playing his flute, tending the cows in Vrindavan. Very amazing. He's a very amazing little boy. <laughs> and how it all comes from subtle to gross. And I'm not sure it's in the books either about Gurumar saying, and why is it so difficult to understand coming from subtle to gross? You have oxygen, you have hydrogen, and then you get then you get water. I mean, it's interesting. It's just that, but just coming from Guru Maharaj like this, it just is clear. Case case <laughs> dismissed. No need to go on a debate, a seven day debate on subtle and the gross and evolution. Yes. Okay. Did I note the title after asking you? Yeah, my best prospect is with him. Okay, I've got a note, so I will ask David Shishu and uh, I put that into my reminder for today too. Yes. On that subject of humility, tolerance and giving honor to others, Plus, plus, plus. And the first lines that you read, or the first line perhaps was, was, was some, you are ill-fated ill are those who find fault in others. Was that something like that? Yes, that was exactly it. Ill-fated are those who find faults in others. And this is something that Gurudev stressed so much. And as you said, Tateno Kampam, this verse, Guru Maharaj and Gurudev, they quote it so much and it really is why they quote it so much because it really is the necessity of our lives and it's all part of Mahaprabhu's teachings of humility tolerance giving honor to others and not wanting honor for ourselves we look at ourselves and find out how dishonorable we are look at ourselves and then look at the descriptions of the the saintly the nature of the saintly persons and if you don't know where to find them just go to the veda base you'll find lists of those and recently also we had a list of vaishnava qualities and in sanatan in mahaprabhu's instructions to sanatan goswami wonderful descriptions about the qualities of devotees and the qualities of Krishna, by the way, some very <laughs> wonderful descriptions. That young boy play, playing the flute and tending the cows, beautiful glorification. And about bhakti yoga, the glories of devotional service. Don't neglect the scriptures and don't neglect the sadhus, don't neglect the recordings, etc. But I do see that recordings, especially if it's not English, is not the native language. But even when English is the native language, it is good to listen with others. And when there's a little question mark, just like to stop the recording and then have somebody explain, because we do see that a quite, quite surprising a lot can be misunderstood. Yeah. 
Yes, Narottam Nitai Prabhu. I do believe we have a pending question in Praneshwari's tray. In our, when I was young, we used to have a desk and we used to have a clunky typewriter where you hit the keys with not, not electric, just the clunky typewriter. Actually, it was, I mean, I remember Sagar called it the Sanyasi typewriter because the Sanyasis all would have you know, the thing to an Olympus something, whatever it was, a clunky typewriter. But then on the desk, on the left side, would have in tray and on the right, right side would have the out tray. Out tray. <laughs> then we'd have one more tray, which we tried to keep empty, but it was difficult. That was the pending tray. <laughs> so <laughs> in Praneshwari's <laughs> pending tray, she has Narottam Nittai Prabhu's question. Yes, Maharaj, it's already in the chat. Is it indeed? Oh, and Praneshri said, please share. Oh, yes. Oh, okay. And Suresh Krishna, Dandavat, and all the devotees. Suresh, are you with us? Yes, Suresh Krishna, you're a big S. Have a big S. Dandavat, Suresh Krishna. And so Narottam Nittai asks, Narottam Nittai Prabhu asks, the coverings of the soul are many. Ten. Oh, only. Okay, that gives me hope. Ten, if I remember correctly. <laughs> How to progress from the gross anatta nivriti to the subtle elements of anatta nivriti. Since we are able to see the devotional qualities in other devotees over ourselves. Is it largely through the service of other devotees in their devotional service? Since we are able to see the devotional qualities in other devotees over ourselves, is it largely through the service of other devotees in their devotional service? Uh, okay. Uh, well, the answer is, I mean, yes. We are to serve the devotees and if we need to serve all devotees and of course if we can serve those who are uh, senior to ourselves then that is the process but we is, will try to help everybody I mean service means whether we are a team together and so always we want to try to give assistance everywhere we assist that's one kind of service. We are assisting those who are new, who don't know what is the Maha Mantra, what is this, what is that. So it is, you know, what is service? It is all connected together. But yes, to engage in service to those who have in their heart the bhakti, this is the process of winning their heart. And by winning their heart, then the transmission the transmission of goodwill of bhakti is coming always. And the thing is, if somebody is poor, like we are poor in our devotional enthusiasm, devotional knowledge, but in our devotional nature, so we need to come to somebody who's rich. And the rich can give to the poor. They have that, that quality to give. And this is Guru Mahārāj, this is Guru Dev, this is Śrīla Prabhupāda. And this is those who serve them. Everyone, everyone is touched to some degree. And we mentioned just a little while well before you joined us today that the devotees from all, from all kinds of backgrounds, everyone hasn't come from a saintly background. And I mean, who can be realistic? <laughs> devotees, after being devotees, have all kinds of natures too. But everyone who is you know, chanting Hare Krishna, who put on tilak and come you know, be participating in some way, why they do? They've all got a, some touch that's come from the devotees. They've all got some touch. And so we need to treasure that touch with the great souls. And that touch is coming through the Vaishnavas. 
as Guru Maharaj says, it's not just our relationship with Krishna, and it's not just our relationship with Guru Maharaj or Gurudev, it's our relationship with the devotees, who they are devotees, but through the devotee family. And it's not that we don't do anything unless we're going told by somebody who is carrying a tree under sannyas staff or somebody who's been 50 years as a devotee or something. We will try to be on the team to make the whole team successful for devotional service. And that means if you're in a temple, that's a little bit obvious. The whole temple should run in a, some harmonious way. But the, the devotees who are most of the devotees living at home, studying in universities or school, junior school, senior school, working, unemployed, whoever, whatever their general lifestyle is, it's still the team, the team of devotee from the heart to keep connection through service. So we want to help everybody. And of course, if we've got the opportunity to serve the, the senior devotees, then very good. But we can also be serving them by assisting to others who are uh, assisting them. Das anu das anu das anu das. So we need to engage in these kind of activities in order to get rid of our own bad nature, the things which are within us. But we are following nine processes of devotional service. But with what mood? Someone can guess. Humility, tolerance, giving honor to others. I mean, really, if we get to think about it, and actually, I think Gurudev is a little bit smiling when he hears that we still they're talking about humility, tolerance. They didn't that they didn't forget. They forgot all these other stuff, but <laughs> at least they remember to talk about it, <laughs> even if they don't do it. So, Gurudev, we're talking about it and trying to do it when we remember. Hare Krishna. Yesterday I was in the airport and it is interesting and I was waiting at the airport at a while and it was interesting um, to see like every generation is in the airport from baby to you know, the old person who's making their last journey. <laughs> well, they've got another journey to follow, of course, but <laughs> the old person who, you know, you're waiting. And I was actually at the, at the arrivals so I was at the arrivals waiting to be met and trying to communicate with, through our phones where is this place. But I, then I, was, I just stayed in a fixed place and said, okay, this is where I am. And so I'm looking for the devotee who's picking me up or I mean, who's meeting me. I, even though I said, I don't need to be picked up. I'm a big, I mean, I can happily find my way around. It's part of, part of the... the joy of traveling when we are younger, isn't it, to find your way around. But anyway, so I'm looking for the devotee. So I'm, I have to look at the people. So I'm looking to see, because I don't know if he's going to look like a devotee, because not all our devotees look like devotees, do they? <laughs> so I'm looking. And really, the arrivals, if you want to spend a little time, as I did yesterday, at the arrivals, then it's actually a happy place. And really, I mean, some natural joy from people. They think, oh, I mean, this, they, they are like, they actually expressing joy, which I, you know, you don't really see all the time on the streets when they're seeing their grandmother coming and this, that, and the other. And there are quite a few people who do receive flowers at the airport. And by the way, they gave me a nice a handmade garland where in London you can't go and buy a garland, garland in the shop like you can in India or Thailand. But uh, it was actually a happy place to see the whole kind of generations and meeting and the affection of family to family. Lots of like children running to, to parents or I don't know if they're parents or grandparents, but you know, children running and meeting people. And it was a happy place. Why I thought of that, not sure. But some, some joy in the world. 
Oh, about senior and junior <laughs> and what we're doing with our life. Naratam Nitai Prabhu. Please try and serve the devotees. All devotees. We don't know who is who. And Srila Prabhupada, he was a householder. Srila Prabhupada never lived in a temple, dear devotees. And that's also amazing. He didn't live in a temple. He was not a brahmachari. He was not a temple commander or anything like that. And actually, you see, he sent his leading devotees, the leaders, to Guru Maharaj, to Chaitanya Saraswat Mat, to learn what it's like to live in a temple, to learn the morning program, evening program, the songs, the tune of the songs, which songs we sing. That's where the, the daily program within ISKCON is originating. It's coming, it's coming based on Navadi Chaitanya Saraswat Mat. Well, look and see, that's where Srila Prabhupada's preaching is coming from. It's coming from Guru Maharaj, who he had in his own words, extensive connection with. And Srila Prabhupada, he's presented Guru Maharaj to the world, and he wanted that everyone will come and hear from Guru Maharaj. So, very wonderful things. Praneshwari, this is the link of the article that our dear Jeevana did he read from. Oh, very good. Somebody's, oh, Praneshwari, you found it yourself too. Very no, good. No, Maharaj, no, Maharaj. Jeevana Didi provided it to me. <laughs> That's okay. the one that Devashish, Devashish had sent it to me a while back because I was inquiring about this particular article. And uh, he sent me that link. I think it's a link for all the... Um, Gaudiya Darshans. Okay. Very good. Well, this is a link for a specific one, I see. June 2006. Yeah. I think it's for the whole magazine, which is wonderful, full of articles. Yeah. yeah. The article is on page yeah. 25. Oh, thank you. Yeah, good. <laughs> well, we can all have some happy homework, and that's to read that article. My best prospect is with him from this magazine. And reread it. I expect most of us have read it before. Certainly, I've read it before. But we are rereading many things happily. Unput down a bull. And we need to read in service. As we did mention, I'm sure, back to back to basics, but we did mention recently how Guru Maharaj referred to his own books. He said, you, I've answered these questions. You see, it must be recorded in my books. You read those books. Srila Prabhupada gave much stress to read his books. Guru Dev wants us to read his books. It is, it is sure, this is their record. That is so, so beautiful. We need to read in service. Yes, did he? Need to read beautiful. in service. And yeah. even though we are using, I mean, when we can, we are using a book, but we're using these electronic devices, but we must consider it as a book. Mm -hmm. When we read Chaitanya 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 Charitamrita or any book before we read, when we re read Revealed Truth every day, then before we're giving our respects to Revealed Truth and to the author, to in that case, Srila Gurudev, and we're giving our respect as with the book. And it is a book. It is the book. And even when I was young, you, we'd never guess we'd have such opportunity to read in this way. We'd never guess we'd have this opportunity to talk in this way. I mean, we wouldn't. It's just science fiction. So let us use it. And this is all, all we are using here is mud. Going out into the garden, digging up some mud, putting it in a bucket, 
And if you get enough brains, enough brains, uh, and that intelligence comes from Krishna as well. The mud comes from Krishna and the intelligence of the brainy people comes from Krishna. You put that brainy intelligence into that mud and you get more mud. Computers. <laughs> That's what a computer is. You get communication. You get sound. You get picture. You get all this from a bucket of mud. That's how we've got this. Amazing. The potential of a bucket of mud. So let us use this and mud in this form of computers and mobile phones for, for what Mahaprabhu allowed them to be created for, for this. So we can read this article without thinking, oh, is this magazine still in print? Where can I buy the magazine, et cetera, et cetera. And then go buy the magazine, spend money, dear devotees, to buy something. And by the way, in Vila Govinda, we did send a donation to the BBT for the, the, the Veda base because we use the Veda base all the time and then devotees are giving us, do, mm -hmm. when we get devote, uh, donations, we want them used properly. And really, we thought that we are using the Veda base always. Why we will not give them a donation? We mm -hmm. will appreciate. Even it says in Bhagavad Gita, in the first edition of our Gita, there is some glories of the Gita in the, in the back. It says one will not get any benefit from Bhagavad Gita if he steals it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, we want to be on the safe side. We don't want to steal everything. We want to give acknowledgement. And so we sent a donation to, to the uh, Veda base. We know it takes some resources and even that, just the principle of it. They are doing something which we appreciate devotionally and we will send. So we want our books, we want to value what we read, not take anything cheaply. Hare Krishna. But we follow the practices and then we will get in touch with the devotional side. And it's not that all our life we're trying to push out the wrong things in us. The thing is, if we just try to push everything out, they're going to resurface again and again and again. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, devotees come and they're so used to eating, I mean, I can just say pizza is an example. But they come to Navadip, they haven't had pizza for three months. And then when they see the pizza shop in Calcutta, you know, they're going crazy to the pizza shop. Until I told them that I would, they, because in Calcutta, I don't think you could get pizza before. Then they had a pizza place in Park Street, which is like the, the cool street in Calcutta, Park Street. If there is a cool street, it's a pretty crazy street too. But anyway, then this like Western style pizza place opened up and our sweet devotees, I was surprised. They really did want to go there. And then one day I was taking a shortcut which went behind that pizza place. Mm. On this, so behind oh, wow. Park Street. And there I saw them cooking their pizzas. And how they were cooking the pizzas, that environment was just the same as the environment, how they're making all the street food with the flies, the, <laughs> let's face it, the urine, the spit, the, you know, all that, all the stuff going on. And, you know, not exactly in the Western world's hygiene standards, but the front, the shop looks very nice. But where they're cooking it right behind, dirty. And I thought, yeah, look and see. But anyway, that wasn't the point. The point was that you may refrain from eating your favorite food for some time, but then when it comes in front of you again, or when, oh, 
you can get down there, then raises up inside the brain. And it's not that you've left that desire, it's just been suppressed. And then when, the, when it's let loose, it, there's a shock in there, running to the shock. So that's just an example. But if we can get, again, if we think of Srila Prabhupada, we're somehow thinking of him today a little bit more. But Srila Prabhupada is saying about the high, uh, getting a higher taste. If we get a higher taste, you automatically leave behind the lower taste. So we want to follow the, the devotional practices. And then, as if it's Sanatan or Rupa, I don't remember, but one of Rupa and Sanatan said that when they think about the conjugal relationships of the material world, the desire to, to spit comes in their mind, they are a very dirty thing. That is their view of, of the conjugal relationship in this world. So we must you know, try to imbibe the higher taste and then the lower things of this world will slip away. And we have many layers. Oh, you mentioned 10 layers covering us. The coverings of the soul are many, 10. Hmm. It may be analyzed somewhere as 10, but, but there is layer after layer. We hear like an onion. I know none of you know what is an onion because you're all good Hare Krishnas. But as you peel off one layer, there's another layer underneath, I'm told. And there's another layer underneath that, I'm told. And there's layer after layer after layer. And we do come across very beautiful things sometimes. Like the effort, if we give our effort in selfless devotion, following the practices recommended by the Guru. The Guru is the teacher. He's teaching us how to live. We follow the practices and then we will not have to focus on the not this, not this, not this. But when the wrong things do pop up in our mind, then we do want to look after them, pick out those weeds as they appear. But that's not our only job. The job is cultivating the de devotional side of us, not to spend all our time looking for the weeds and forgetting about the plant. We want to give the focus on the positive side. And service, 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 to chant without service. Firing blanks. Firing like a gun, firing a blank bullet. Hare Krishna. All right. But I think Jeevana has one more thing to say. I saw you. Jeevana. Yes. I was just saying, I was just repeating after you, Hare Krishna. Oh, were you? Okay. You yeah, should. yeah. That is so nice because I know whenever there's a space, you'll start saying Hare Krishna. And it's like, oh, it's so good to remember that. Oh, Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. <laughs> or Govinda. Oh, that's right. Nitai or, oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, oh yeah. I, I'm not sure. I have to show you one thing, Maharaj, because Sureshri gave me this. Hold on one second. I'm not sure Oh dear is a name of Krishna, but Mahaprabhu, when he came back uh, from um, his, the Pinda, for, doing Pinda for his father, he came back after meeting Ishvara Puri and he gave the meaning of every sound in relation to Krishna. So, right. oh dear, <laughs> maybe by the grace of Mahaprabhu, having some connection with Krishna. Mm. I'll have to meditate on that one. Jeevan and So Rashri got this many years ago, you know, because she hasn't been with us for a while now. But oh, it's an oh dear. <laughs> she said, next time you see Maharaj, please give this to him. But it was quite some time ago. <laughs> oh, so now it's just yeah. now we just keep it on our altar. This is like our picture of Madhusudan Maharaj. <laughs> Hare Krishna. <laughs> 
there must have been a lot of oh dears around me for me for me to become famous for oh dear <laughs> but the whole world is oh dear without krishna consciousness and mm -hmm. on the other side we have om which is you know the positive yes what you're searching for does exist and this om in its personal form and especially in Kali Yuga, because of the special empowerment of the Maha Mantra in Kali Yuga, that personal form of the Om is coming out as Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, oh. Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Rama Hare Hare. And dear devotees, just a reminder, please do copy out this link that Praneshri has posted, which has been given by Jeevanadidi, giving credit where everything is coming from the link to the article that she was referring to because, uh, well, just because it's good for you. And as we started at the beginning, we want to do good things for good people and everyone. And to the most good people, the most wonderful people who saved our, saving our lives and the lives of the whole world, in fact, Om Vishnu Pad Shila Bhakti Sunda Govinda Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila Bhakti Rakhok Shrida Dev Goswami Maharaj Ki Jai Om Vishnu Pad Shila AC Bhakti Varanta Swami Prabhupada Ki Jai Shri Rupa Nuga Guru Bhaga Ki Jai and all in their line including the prominent the leading section Shri Chaitanya Saraswat Archarja Brinda Ki Jai and to all of the assembled, assembled devotees Ki Jai Shri Harinam Sankitan Kijai, and to Jagamohini, and to uh, Michael Madhava, the devotees on Facebook. Jai is to you, you are not forgotten. We happily know that you're with us, and to all who've seen, seeing the recorded version to our glorification to you. Mahapra, uh, Krishna Das Kaviraj in Chaitanya Charitamrita repeatedly giving appreciation to the listeners as well as to the Lord and the devotees, etc. So to listen, to participate, and here is not only listening, some participation. To all of you participants, ki jai. Pancha kalpa turubi astra, kripa sindubiya eva cha, patitanam pavanebhyo, vaishnavebhyo namo nama. Have a good week or a few days before we meet again in Seva. And please, as I say, copy out that link and this is our homework reading. It's home saver, not work. Home saver reading, in addition to whatever we're reading this week. Jai Srila Bhakti Ranjan Madhusudan Maharaj Ki Jai. Hare Krishna. And, and, we'll, jai. and we look Mandala. forward to hearing from Chintamani her saver report of this week's commitment. What happened this week? We'll hear your news report next time. Maharaj, Maharaj, and Dandavat from Abraja Bihari Das in London. Aha, see you and soon. And Madhura Vasini and Priya Bhakta with hearts and folded hands. All right, I'll see each of you soon. I'm seeing you now in my mind or my heart or this way. Seeing you each of you now, but where, as Krishna arranges, we'll see each of you soon. If not here, there with Guru Dev and Guru Maharaj. We have that faith and confidence. We'll party together with them. Sankitan party with Guru Dev and Guru Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Thank you so much, Maharaj. There is Krishna. Jindamani, yes, I will send it to you on, on WhatsApp. Just let me finish posting. Oh, Priyana um, direct messaged it to me. The GodiaDarshan.com. Oh. Is that yes, the homework? Yes, that one. That one. That one, yes. I have it. Yes. The article is on page 25. Thank you so much for all yeah, that you do for us, Pranisharima. Ma. Thank you. Hi, Krishna. Dhanavad. 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 Dhanavad.